Sam, you got your charger with you, Matt? Yeah. <laughs> I do I share this now, it's like Twitter. Um, that, uh, yeah, I suppose click on the share links, no? Oh, yeah. That one. Yeah. Oh, share that one. No, I did. I clicked the. Um, yeah. I, I clicked that. One. Signals quite good as well. Oh, I need to start a master plugin there. <coughs> I love this guy. I open it up. I love this guy. I open it up. Good morning, everybody. Thank you for joining us at Mobile World Congress 2014. As you can see from the crowd here today, the excitement is positively palpable. The reason for that? Well, you're naturally curious about Nokia's future given our continued leadership in affordable mobile phones. Today, we'll be bringing all of our expertise to bear to connect the next billion people to the internet. We're going to be building on our recent momentum across the business. For example, towards the end of 2013, we continued to show improving results. We saw Windows Phone become the fastest growing mobile operating system in the world. We've gone from a standing start with Windows Phone to more than 10% share in several markets here in Europe, for example. Markets like the United Kingdom, Italy, Belgium, Poland, and of course, our home country, Finland. As well as the same levels of market share and growth in emerging markets like Nigeria, Thailand, and Vietnam. We saw Lumia sales double year on year, led by the Lumia 5 and the Lumia 1020, a number of which I see right here in the front row taking great pictures. In fact, the Lumia 520 is the number one selling smartphone in the world in the 75 to 150 euro price band. An amazing success. And we continue to introduce new innovation in and around Lumia. For example, just last week, we introduced Treasure, which is a proximity accessory that helps you find your bag or your keys if you lose them. And just two weeks ago, we launched the Nokia Lumia icon with Verizon Wireless in the United States. Plus, we've added fantastic applications to the Windows Phone ecosystem including Instagram, Vine, Mint, Pi, and Subway servers. And today, I'm very pleased to announce that BBM, Adobe Photoshop Express, and Food Panda will be coming to Lumia. Now, we introduced developed, yes, particularly in emerging markets, we're going to see a lot of interest in BBM. Now, we introduced developers to the Nokia Imaging SDK last July. Since then, many developers have built Lumia imaging applications like Smart Resize and Picura. And today, we're updating the Nokia Imaging SDK to version 1.1. With this new release, we're bringing developers new features, features like image editing, performance optimized filtering, and you guys can chat. Plus, developers can now realize the potential of a converged Windows app experience. 
The SDK for Windows Phone 8 and Windows 8.1 is derived from the same code base. So developers can reuse their code across the Windows platform and Lumia. Starting today, developers can download the SDK for the Nokia developer site for Lumia, Windows 8.1 tablets, and for PCs. Now, in mobile phones last year, we launched many new colorful ASHA devices. And we continued our leadership in feature phones. In fact, the Nokia 105, which was a major hit here at Mobile World Congress just exactly one year ago, has been a tremendous hit with people. We are selling up to 1 million Nokia 105 phones every single week. Now this momentum is amplified as we think about the future of our devices business. Once we close the pending transaction with Microsoft, Lumia, Asha, and our feature phones will become part of a broader family of devices and services. As Microsoft's new CEO, Satya Nadella, said, and I quote, we have the opportunity to reimagine what we have done in the past for a mobile-first and cloud-first world, and we can do new things. So today, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to show you a number of new things that we're doing for people around the world. My first introduction today, I'm very proud to show this device, is the new Nokia 220, our most affordable internet-ready mobile phone. Preloaded. People can be part of a global conversation. Now, while these apps are part of our daily lives, the Nokia 220 will introduce those apps to millions of people around the world for the very first time, particularly in growth markets. What's more, people can use the Nokia 220 to explore the wider world online with Microsoft's Bing Search which we have integrated into the Nokia Express browser. We put great care into making the Nokia 220 because for many, it is an aspirational leap into their very first mobile phone ownership. But we have not forgotten the basics. The Nokia 220 is available in single and dual SIM variants. Dual, swim, dual SIM as no lets people swap the SIM cards on the go and we give it many of the great Nokia essentials. A battery with nearly a month's standby time, two megapixel camera, 51 hours of music playback, 2G internet, and some of the world's most popular social applications. Available immediately for just 29 euros for the single SIM version, the Nokia 220 sets a new standard for a desirable first mobile phone. Now, our ASHA product line, as you've seen over the last year, has set a new standard for first smartphones. ASHA introduced design, color, and innovation like Fastlane. It also introduced Swipe to people in more than 130 countries around the world. Last year, we introduced a whole family of new ASHA devices including a 3G model with a 5 megapixel camera. Today, I'm very pleased to be introducing a new, even more affordable member, 
to the Asha family. Introducing the Nokia Asha 230, our most affordable Asha touch device ever. At 45 euros, the Asha 230 is a stunning addition to the family with a fresh design and smooth navigation, including fast lane. For young, aspirational people all over the world, including, including those who are moving on from feature phones for the first time, the Asha 230 is an exciting first step into full touch. Just like the rest of the Asha family, you can enjoy the phone's features just by swiping quickly and easily. The Asha 230 is a joy to use. Each movement is easy and fluid. Waking up the phone is as simple as a double tap on the screen. When you swipe from the home screen to fast lane, it brings everything you love right into focus. We've heard from many people. See how many comments your photo has received on Facebook or information about your last gaming session. What's more, the Asha 230 unleashes, for example, Asha Motion is a new application that people can use to create colorful designs that you can save as wallpaper. People can even access that app from Fastlane to create a new design to personalize their Asha and share it with friends and family. Now, as part of the Asha family, it also brings another really interesting capability. Starting in April, people can get a software update that will bring a whole new experience to all Asha devices, including those that were introduced last year. This is our second full update to the Asha platform since we launched it, something that's very different than you see with other competing platforms at those price points. This new update will include Microsoft OneDrive, which is Microsoft's new name for SkyDrive. With OneDrive, people will be able to store photos and videos straight to the cloud from all of their Asha devices. The Asha software update also includes some great apps, smarter imaging, and fast lane advances. And for devices with Wi-Fi, it also includes free mixed radio, which brings music streaming and downloadable playlists. I think that's the mixed radio too, I'm kind of guessing. <laughs> The Nokia Asha 230 goes on sale immediately around the globe for just 45 euros. Now, over the last two years, we have all seen a dramatic shift in smartphone sales. More and more people are buying a smart, affordable smartphones that cost less than, let's say, 100 euros. To date, the Lumia family and the Asha family have given people great choices. But that sub-100 range is a massive opportunity for us. According to Strategy Analytics, for example, the market for ultra-affordable smartphones will grow four times faster than the rest of the smartphone market. So we are going after it with multiple options at many price points to suit different needs. We see a different but complementary opportunity to introduce a stunning, surprising new family that strengthens our affordable smartphone portfolio. Go. Go. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing the new Nokia X and the Nokia X Plus. There they are, ladies and gentlemen. All right. 
These are two beautifully designed, affordable Nokia smartphones that both of them run Android applications. They include unique Nokia experiences, and they include a wide array of popular Microsoft services. These devices have been crafted with painstaking attention to detail. They continue our pattern of bold, vibrant colors that make a unique representation. They come with Nokia's monobody design, allowing it to truly stand out. Building on our iconic design, the Nokia X and X Plus have a generous 4-inch touchscreen. The Nokia X Plus also includes extra memory and more storage with an SD card so people can enjoy even more multimedia experiences. Both the Nokia X and the X Plus have fluid navigation that we'll demonstrate in just a second. And it includes an enhanced fast lane user interface experience. Now, we've preloaded some great applications on the Nokia X family. Applications like Skype and Facebook. Plus, the Nokia X and X Plus are built on the Android open source project software, which means people have access to hundreds of thousands of applications right out of the box. With AOSP, we benefit from the Android app and hardware ecosystems, but we have differentiated by adding our own services and user experience. As well, the Nokia X and X Plus introduce people to signature Nokia experiences, like Hear Maps and Nokia Mix Radio, Q Mix Radio Team. Okay. Plus, we are introducing new customers around the world to popular Microsoft services, like Skype and OneDrive, Outlook.com, and more to come. The Nokia Ooh. X takes people to Microsoft's cloud, not to Google's cloud. This was very deliberate because the Nokia X family, with this, Microsoft will be able to reach people it has never talked to before around the world. At the same time, this approach allows Android developers to easily bring their applications to the Nokia X family in just a few hours, if even that. People can access free applications from the Nokia store. It'll be a high quality curated experience in the Nokia store, but as well, you can access applications from other application stores, such as the Yandex store, or SlideMe, or others. And people can sideload applications using an SD card with our file manager. Now, for developers, Nokia X is a great way to increase revenue in growth markets. <coughs> Excuse me. The Nokia store is optimized for growth economy purchase models, where people want to start off with applications that are free. It is a we help developers by offering different monetization methods, different methods for people in the growth markets. For example, we offer try and buy as part of our e-commerce experience. We also have operator billing in place for people that do not have credit cards. Our operator billing is right now up and running in 60 markets with more than 160 operators. These models have been very successful for developers like Facebook yep. and EA. So, time to get inside this device. I'd like to invite oh, so Neil Broadley from our mobile. Well. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. So it's going to be my pleasure this morning to show you some of the first experiences of our Lock Your X family. So, in common with many of Nokia's devices, it all starts with the glance screen. The glance screen makes it incredibly easy to see if you've got any important notifications, and also makes it easy just to detect without even having to unlock the device. When I unlock the phone, it takes me to my lock screen. You see I've got notifications directly on the lock screen, and I swipe from my lock screen to unlock directly to our home screen. Now the first thing you're going to see is that our home screen 
is directly influenced by our Lumia smartphone family. We have a tower-based home screen. You can see we have some elements of live information coming through into the tiles. The home screen, super fast, really nice and smooth as I move. And then I just swipe across to come to our second screen, the fast lane. We'll come back to fast lane in a moment. So, of course, what's incredibly important to me is the ability to personalize your home screen. So, if you just press and hold on the tile, and you can see as I move the tile around the screen, it makes it really easy, really nice and simple, fluid to reorganize the tiles, so I hope it's just how I like it. We've also taken some other elements from Lumia. So, for example, the ability to resize a tile. And when you do that, sometimes you get new capabilities. So, for example, if I resize the gallery, you'll see how now it starts to bring photos through from my camera roll onto the home screen of my device. As I scroll down the phone, you'll see I already have some of those most popular Microsoft services like Skype or OneDrive already installed on my phone. Signature Nokia experiences like free music streaming from Mix Radio, free online and offline maps from here, and here drive satellite navigation. You'll also see incredibly popular third-party apps like Vine, BBM, and Plants vs. Zombies too. Now, one of the other elements that we brought to the Nokia Rex is the ability to use elements like folders and widgets to personalize your screen further. So, for example, if I want to add a folder, I can just press and hold on the tile, add a folder. Say, for example, I'll create a folder that's... I'll create a folder for my app stores. And then all I do is just drag and drop a tile into that folder and it gets added right there. So really fast, really easy to do. So if I swipe across to my fast lane, the fast lane is a fantastic element of the Nokia X experience. It basically keeps track of everything I'm doing on my phone. So all my favorite apps are always close at hand and it makes it faster and smoother to switch between all of those apps. So you can see here recently I've been on the store, I've been listening to some music on mixed radio. The gallery, I have this call to one of my friends, a text message, and you'll see I've also been on the internet, pulling in those elements through. If I pull down on my fast lane, I can also get to elements like my alarm. So if I want to change alarm, I just tap right here at the top of the fast lane, takes me into the alarm, set the alarm, and then jump straight back to the fast lane. One final element of the fast lane is the ability to control some of your apps from within the fast lane. So here, for example, you know, we have a music track playing, so rather than go back into the music player, I can, just I can just tap play, and the music track starts playing immediately. The one final thing we learned about Fastlane is people really value the ability to control what appears there. So, for example, we've introduced privacy features, like if you just press and hold on the Fastlane, you can see with those little X's, I can immediately control and remove any elements of the Fastlane I don't want to appear there. Now, of course, the Nokia X family it's all about giving you access yeah, to the it. world of Android apps. So we have a out. fantastic new Nokia store on our Nokia X devices. As you can see here, we've already got the merchandise. So you can see Skype there as the app of the day today. Other great apps like Draw Something and Plants vs. Zombies 2 from our colleagues at Electronic Arts. Now, if I want to add another app, you know, for example, let's search for another one of those popular Microsoft, um, popular Microsoft apps. Let's have a look and see. Outlook. And there you have it, as simple as that, I can go straight in, obviously we're using the, the network here at Mobile World Congress today, fairly busy today, so it takes some time to, to feed through. Now, this is one of the apps we have in the store today, there are also perhaps some other apps that will be gaining in the store over the next few weeks and months, so for example, I know from my colleagues in the Russian market that Aero Express is a great yeah. app that guys use whenever they need to head to the airport. Now, we don't have it in the store today, but what we do is we give users a direct link to one of our private third party stores. For example, here Yandex, which is one of the most popular stores in Russia, where you can easily go in and download the uh, download the app from the store. So, with just one touch, I head back Everyone to my home screen. Words, and the final thing to show you is just how we put all the controls right at the top of the home screen, including the ability just to easily switch between those two stores. You can easily, fast, and easily choose. Which still you want to use. So that's an initial introduction to the Nokia X family, and I'd now like to hand you back to Stephen.
The Nokia X and the X Plus are great additions to the Nokia family. The LU and the whole mobile phones team have done a remarkable job with Nokia X. But with these new things, we also wanted to introduce some bigger things to the Nokia X family. I'm pleased to announce that we have a third Nokia X device, the Nokia XL. Oh, wow. The Nokia XL is a big, bold smartphone. It has a 5-inch display and a 5-megapixel rear-facing camera with flash and autofocus. It is a brilliant way to play games, watch videos, and listen to music. And with a 2-megapixel front-facing camera, the Nokia XL is a great way to enjoy popular services from Microsoft, starting with Skype. Neil, why don't you come back on, and we'll just take people through a quick look on the inside of the Nokia XL. Yeah. Welcome back. Thank you. So, ladies and gentlemen, the Nokia XL with a gorgeous 5-inch IPS WVGA capacitive touchscreen, 2-megapixel front-facing camera, which is perfect for those Skype video calls. And then as we go to the back, and you see this gorgeous standout design and a beautiful camera with an LED flash. What I want to do is to show you a few more of the experiences on the Nokia XL. So I'd like to introduce and invite Petty to join me on the stage. <coughs> so one of the games that will be available for the, uh, for the Nokia XL is Plants vs. Zombies 2 from my colleagues at Electronic Arts. So those of you familiar with Plants vs. Zombies 2, it's all about time travel. Here I am um, playing one of the levels in, uh, in the Egyptian level of the game, and uh, I pause the game just so you can see some of the action on my phone. Hopefully, I'm going to uh, I'm going to win here, but we'll see we'll see how it goes. It's getting a little bit tough, but uh, as you can see, fantastic experience. You get a great view of the action on your uh, on your Nokia XL screen. So really, really tremendous. Great title. It's available for download from the store. So I will just come out of that. I can stand here and play games. All day. Now, one of the other elements I wanted to show you was the Here Maps. So, uh, as you mentioned earlier, we have both online and offline Here Maps. So, incredibly important you're able to download those maps to your device um, so that you can access them even when you're in a poor um, area of network. Now, the way I'm going to show you that is actually to show you it on the home screen of the device. And we have something called Universal Search as well, which is a great way to search directly from my home screen. So, for example, I'm a huge football fan, so while I'm here in Barcelona, I'm going to want to go to the new camp, home to, home to Barcelona Football Club. And as you see, as I start to search, it's searching everything on my device. So I'm going to look for the camp new. I'm actually going to choose to jump straight in to here maps. And as you see, because those maps are still offline on my device, I go immediately to the map. It's pulling it, it's looking to search, and what it's doing that is to pull in some additional information um, so, for example, reviews or pictures. So as you can see, I've got the maps installed on my phone. They've gorgeous 3D maps. You can see how much like, control I've got. I can zoom in. I can zoom out. I can zoom in. And zoom out. You can see showing the rest of Barcelona. And we zoom, we zoom right back in. So, fantastic experience. And then bringing those signature Nokia experiences onto our Nokia X smartphone family and the Nokia XL. So, that's it for me. I'd now like to hand you back to Stephen for the remainder of our presentation. Thank you. Thank you, Neil. Now, there is a tremendous opportunity to reach new people with the Nokia X family. Not just for us, not just for developers, but also our partners. I'd like to invite Laura Kingwell of Microsoft's Skype team to join me. Laura? Thank you. We are really excited to have Skype running on the Nokia X smartphone, helping to bring millions of people into the Microsoft family. To celebrate the launch, we have a great offer for people who buy the Nokia X in select markets. We're offering one month of Skype's unlimited world subscription to help them stay connected to friends and family wherever they are and on any platform. Also, we're very excited to announce at the bottom here 
a OneDrive offer of 10 gigabytes oh, of nervous. free cloud storage available from the Nokia store. This will let you save photos, videos, and music to the cloud safely and securely. Overall, we're delighted to be able to offer some of the best of Microsoft with the Nokia X. Thank you. The Nokia X family. All free devices give people access to a world of Android apps through the Nokia store and dozens of third-party application stores. But unlike competitor devices, people get access to the signature Nokia experiences and popular Microsoft services through beautifully designed, quality-made Nokia devices. The Nokia X will be available immediately for 89 euros. The Nokia X Plus will be available in early Q2 for 99 euros. And the Nokia XL will also be available in early Q2 in, uh, for 109 euros. The devices will be available broadly around the world, starting in growth markets. Now, because of the significance of this announcement, I thought it would be really important to step aside and give you some strategic context about Nokia's full family of devices. Lumia continues to be our primary smartphone strategy. Lumia is where we will continue to introduce the greatest innovation. Lumia also gives people the benefit of Microsoft's cloud-based services and full integration with all of the Microsoft experiences, including live tiles, Xbox <coughs> games, and many other elements. The Nokia X family serves the fast-growing, affordable smartphone segment, in particular for people in growth markets. Nokia X products will generally be priced below our Lumia smartphone family. As we go forward, and in the not-so-distant future, you should expect to see Lumia devices launched at lower and lower price points while we push the Nokia X family to price points that trend below that. By using Microsoft services, Nokia X becomes a feeder system for Lumia. We are deliberately using the Android open source project without Google's cloud services. Instead, we're substituting Nokia's experiences and Microsoft services in the place of Google. This ensures a high degree of Android app compatibility while introducing the next billion people to Microsoft. With common services and a, fam a familiar user experience across all the devices, Nokia X gives people a gateway to Microsoft. Tell you what, not this month. Now, Nokia X will yeah, compete smart. with like, other like affordably priced yeah, Android devices. Work, we will win so customers' hearts so and minds with yeah, strong Nokia attributes so like design, quality, and, and reliability. We'll win with yeah. unique Nokia experiences like Peer Maps and Mix Radio. We'll win with popular Microsoft services. We'll win with a unique user experience that embraces fast lane and the familiar tiles. And with the strength of our Nokia brand, you will see these family of devices taking advantage of our broad global distribution. <coughs> Thus, Nokia X, together with Lumia, represents a deliberate strategy to leverage Microsoft services as a common denominator throughout our family of devices to deliver value to the widest possible population. Now, in summary, for Nokia, we have four distinct tiers of products. Our affordable first devices, like the new Nokia 220. Our entry-level Asha touch phones, like the new Nokia Asha 230. Our new Nokia X family, which are affordable smartphones with Android apps, Nokia experiences, and Microsoft services designed for growth economies. And our primary smartphone strategy, Lumia, which is where you will see the greatest innovation and full compatibility with the Microsoft experience. Now, as I mentioned at the beginning, today we are introducing a number of very new things to people all around the world. 
But in the future, there is so much more to explore, particularly when we unite with Microsoft. Nokia has connected billions of people around the globe. Microsoft has put a PC on every desk. Together, we can connect and empower people with one experience for everything in their life in a world where it is mobile first and cloud first. It's time to go forward and reimagine what it is possible for our teams, our developers, and our customers to achieve. Thank you very much for joining us here today. Good morning, everybody, and thank you again for joining us today. My name is Anna Mangahas, and I'm part of the Nokia communications team. We have time to take a few questions, and we actually have um, some people in the audience with placards and microphones. If you'd like to ask a question, please raise your hand up high, and we'll try to get to you as best as we can. When asking a question, say your name, the media outlet you're from, and because we do have a packed audience and want to give people as much opportunity, uh, please do limit yourself to one question. Thank you. Number two, please. Number two. I'm here. Phil Goldstein from Pierce Wireless. Um, for a couple of years now, Microsoft has been able to deliver Windows Phone devices that I think have 256 megabytes of RAM and certainly um, 512 megabytes of RAM. So Ralph. Microsoft and Nokia have been able to push Windows Phone price points down in that spec area. So why, if that is the case, did Nokia feel it was necessary to pursue the X family? So we see the X family as being complementary to Lumia at lower price points. And even as you see Lumia push lower and lower, you will see us push lower with Nokia X below it. There will always be a scene, maybe a bit of overlap, but essentially think of it as a deliberate experience of devices with a common set of experiences and a common crowd to bring them to us. So that, that's our strategy. We also believe it was a real opportunity, particularly in growth markets, to take advantage of some of the app ecosystem opportunities that exist that we need to Number four, please. Hi there, you're from the UK Mobile Review. Does the Nokia X family come with an unlocked bootloader? Neil Broadley, does it come with an unlocked bootloader? So, so the, the Nokia X family runs, as, as Stephen explained, on the Android open source platform. And what we've done is we've kept the Android open source platform standard. And what we've done then is we've built the Nokia APIs and the Nokia user experience on top of that. That Number one. Question. That's the question. No mention of Office when there's integration of all Microsoft services, especially on the Excel, which has a big screen. Uh, why is our on Office? And so we've started with a certain set of services, and you should expect to see us expanding without making any specific commitments more broadly across the Microsoft family. It's clearly that's the common denominator that we see across those, those elements. Outlook.com by itself brings some of that, but we have further that we will, we will go through. Number two. Well, what we're very pleased with is the momentum around applications with Windows Phone is growing substantially. Particularly in growth economies, what we're seeing, and this is helping both with Windows Phone and now with Android apps, is because we've invested so much in the store and e-commerce environment, the operator billing, the try and buy methods and so forth, oh that's gosh. attracting developers broadly for that platform. Now, when we have a conversation with the developer, the is conversation we're able to have is, if you build collectively for us, which includes Windows Phone and Nokia X, we can help you with merchandising across a much broader footprint. And that's a message that resonates quite well. So I think it will be complementary and self or cross-supporting between the environments. And number two again, please. Quick question about the Nokia X app itself. You mentioned about sign-owning of apps. Does that basically mean that any sign-owning can be installed? Yes, generally it can. Do you support some of the Google apps then, or does that need to be set 
So what we've done is there's certain Google APIs that go directly to Google services that have been replaced by Nokia APIs. And so when we look at the whole body of, of, of Android applications, the vast majority of them run out of the box without modification. But if certain APIs are called and, need, and therefore are being redirected on Nokia X, there may need to be a recompilation or a minor change made to have that application run on an environment. Broadly, they work out of the box. Sometimes there's a piece of functionality typically related to e-commerce that doesn't work, but if it's recompiled or, or minor changes, as well, I would then it can be well. into the Nokia e-commerce environment as well. Like, if it's Jelly Bean, would you get kicked out? We have time for just a few more. Number four, please. Three years ago, the platform was burning and you chose the uh, Windows phone. Yes. It seems to me that the burn the platform is burning again because you are now going with, with Android. So, what do you think about the fact that would it would have been, have been twice here to go with Android already from the, from the February 2011? So, what you see us today doing, Patrick, is expanding our strategy to address an area of price points and capabilities below those that are reached with the Lumia experience. So, that's quite a deliberate addition to our strategy. We are proud of the fact that Windows Phone is the fastest growing ecosystem, that we doubled sales year on year, and as you'll see in the very near future, some exciting new additions to the family that we think will continue to accelerate that momentum. The one thing I will point out very clearly about that decision several years ago is there's quite a number of vendors represented in smaller and smaller booths around this very hall who made the Android decision but could not differentiate. Our Windows Phone decision was primarily to say we wanted to build with Microsoft a third ecosystem, and that's what we're doing, while many others fall by the wayside. Thank you for your question. Can you run a custom launcher on it? So it's, it's possible to it's possible to standard to uh, sideload any standard Android APK file. So we've introduced or we include on the devices a preload, a file manager application. So it's really easy as you should bring any APK file onto the device to access that file directly from there. And we'll take one last question, number two, please. Hi, this is Mark from and congratulations on a fantastic lineup. Thank you. I, can say. I, mean, I don't want to focus on what's not there, but I'd like to ask, when will you be announcing the next Cure Pure device? So I'm not making any Lumia announcements today, but it's quite clear that imaging is one of our principal sources of differentiation for the Lumia family, and actually for Nokia broadly. So watch this space. We're doing a lot of exciting work. So if I may conclude, first of all, thank you for your questions. Thank you for your attention today. Today, what you see is we've introduced a number of new experiences to connect billions of people around the globe. The Nokia 220, the Nokia Asha 230, the Nokia X, X Plus, and XL, and of course, new applications and services for Lumia. As we move forward with Microsoft, we are committed to delivering the next billion people a remarkable family of very exciting devices and services. And I look forward to continuing to work with all of you as we continue that so people, it's more Thank you very much, and please you, enjoy the show here in Barcelona. Thank you. Well, guys, that concludes the show, Nokia X series. That's the first time we've spoken in the whole live stream. <laughs> Later. Catch you guys next one. Peace out. Thanks for watching, guys. Yeah. Oh.